Forgive the noise in the background, I have my foot heater on. It's a little cold right now. With that said, as you can tell by the title of the video, there's a new BIOS update for my Legion Go. But none of the Legion update software will actually be able to detect it. I have to go to their site manually and manually uh, download it and whatnot. So with that said, I'll rerun the check again and you'll see it doesn't find it. It says no update. With that said, let me close out of this. Let's try some of the other Lenovo stuff. I have system update also on this thing, so let's try and launch that. Doesn't find it there. So let's go to their website. I'll do it on max scan. And it says I don't have a uh, service bridge installed. That's incorrect because if I go to here, you can see I have it already installed. So why it says it's not installed is beyond me. <clears throat> and apparently I have to go manually launch that so the stupid website can actually scan the dumb thing. And as you can see, even the website says there's no BIOS update. So with that said, let's actually boot this thing into the BIOS so I can show you that I'm currently on the previous revision. Yay, reflections. Please take 10 years to restart Windows 11, you pile of crap. It's amazing, even though we have MVMEs and whatnot now, these computers are just as slow as hard drives at some, at some points. <clears throat> there we go. Bio setup. More settings. All right, I'm currently on BIOS revision 23. The BIOS revision that's out right now is BIOS revision 26. So I'm going to exit out, the discard changes, and I'm going to reboot the system. I'm definitely going to have to go into the settings and tell, uh, at the very least, the Xbox app to not boot up every single time the damn dumb computer boots. So with that said, let me go back to Legion's site, mainly go to download and so let's see if there's a GPU driver update. GPU driver has not been uh, transferred over from the Chinese server yet, so I'll deal with that later. So if I go to the BIOS, where's the BIOS option? I can't remember because I'm an idiot. All right. So as you can see, the current BIOS revision is uh, 26. So clearly, my Legion Go needs to be updated again with its BIOS. But of course, like I mentioned before, and as you just saw, none of the Legion update software works. It's unable to detect that, hey, I need an X new BIOS, or I need a new GPU driver, or anything like that. So of course, now I've got to figure out which one I need to download. I think it's this one right here, the uh, 10 megabyte one. <clears throat> And I have to run it. And here's hoping this doesn't nuke the uh, computer. I already updated the BIOS once. It didn't give any problems. So it shouldn't do it yet. So it shouldn't have any issues here also. So I'm just going to let it do its own thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue recording but I'm just gonna cut out all the dead air and whatnot and come back when it updates the BIOS completely or if it somehow fails.
All right, so I rebooted without any issue, and I think it's all up to date. So with that said, let's turn the computer off again and make sure the files is in fact up to date. This time around, I'm just going to shut it down because I think shutting it down is going to be a lot more quicker than turning it off or restarting it. Oh yeah, shut sounds far more faster than restarting. I just got to wait for the light to uh, shut off. So there we go. All right, power back on. Huh, instantly into the BIOS now. That's actually kind of nice. All right, BIOS revision is, in fact, up to date now. It's a little annoying in that I couldn't go into the, uh, couldn't go and man, it couldn't go and automatically, uh, have it say, hey, there's a new BIOS update, go and install it. I had to go and manually do it. So with that said, I guess next thing I need to do is go to the Chinese Lenovo site and get the new GPU drivers. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that all off camera. All right, for if you're going to be somehow using this as a tutorial to download the uh, Chinese uh, GPU drivers, which are bilingual, I might as well just show how it's done. So you get to the Chinese site right here, you scroll down, and the one way I figure out what it is is because it'll say VGA driver right here, and it'll be 600 something odd megabytes. So I'm going to download it. And since it's coming from a Chinese server, it is probably going to take a literal year to uh, download. Okay, it's downloading at 2 megabytes, so it's going to take about 3 years. I'll come back when it's done. And like I said before, they are bilingual, so it automatically detects how I have an English uh, setup for Windows. And it's just going to install like normal. A little annoying that I had to go to the uh, Chinese site, but... Uh, Apparently, they're supposed to be at least resolving that. Why none of Lenovo's update software is able to detect that there is a new BIOS, BIOS revision for this thing is beyond me. And of course, it's the same thing for the uh, original GPU drivers because I had the original installed the original drivers for this thing, and then I download some, I think, the latest, and then now I'm downloading more latest of whatever. I don't know. All right, so let's see. That's up to date. So. I'm going to restart the computer. I don't think you have to restart it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, of course, this time around it restarts relatively quick. Go figure. That's a little weird. <clears throat> I'm not getting a false, uh, no, I'm not getting false. Hmm, don't know why I did that. All right, let's see if the Lenovo, not Lenovo, the AMD software still launches. All right, it still launches completely fine. We're good. All right, so with that said, I'm going to restart the computer again, and I'm going to see if it uh, brings that window back up again, because I want to make sure it's just a random weirdness and not just an ongoing occurrence. Okay, it was just a weird fluke. I... Eh. I don't know if I need to blame Windows on that or if I need to blame Legion on, uh, Lenovo on that weirdness, but eh. Again, this thing's only like, what, two, like three something weeks old now at this point out in the wild, so I'm going to expect weirdness. And that's why I'm going to try and document everything that happens that I see that's weird. But uh, with that said... Again, hopefully Lenovo will resolve the issue of it not being, of their software not being able to detect uh, updates for this thing. Because it would be nice to be able to use something like Legion Vantage or the, uh, where is it? The uh, system update, the system update right here to get my updates. Because yes, you'll eventually be able to use Legion Space to update to, to do the updates and whatnot. 
But personally, I'd rather want to use something like a uh, Legion, like the, uh, whatever the, uh, whatever the hell, uh, I like to be able to use Legion Advantage or the System Updater. But, uh, yeah. That's just my own personal nitpicks. With that said, at least I had the ability to go to manual updates, but I really shouldn't be forced to do that.